Well, let's take a look at uh, a, a weather website that has some features that you maybe wouldn't ordinarily see on the websites that you usually check, the aviationweather.gov site and some of the other sites. It's called the High Resolution Rapid Refresh Model. And I've called it up here and we'll go through and take a look at some of its uh, products. So we can start in, we'll go to the site that I use is Pivotal Weather. So pivotalweather.com. And here we are. And you start out by uh, going up here to, you see all the models you can pick from, but let's pick high resolution, rapid refresh. Okay, and here it is, because you can see it over here. Okay, so you see there's these buttons here show that it's got 18 hours worth of forecasting in here. So we can look at a lot of things, but mainly what we're really interested in is the, the radar in storm season, okay? So I just clicked on reflectivity, one kilometer AGL reflectivity, and uh, up pops this image. And this is for 17 Zulu, which is in a half hour or so. And then what we can do up here is where it says single image, select forecast loop, okay. And now you see it's building the image for us, okay. So we can see right off the bat that there's something going on in the southeast, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just animate it, okay? And then you can see the 11 Zulu, it goes up to 11 Zulu. Um, it goes seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours into the future, which can be very helpful. You see there's something happening here. There's a rotation here. That's the parent low. And this is the front going up and up and down uh, in the north there. It looks like some of the strongest echoes down there. We can also select composite reflectivity, which is the totality of all the returns uh, on, the, uh, on the radar screen that the model is prepared. And you can see that it's a lot heavier precip because it's sampling the entire air column. So we can animate that and see how that's goes. So you know that if you're going to be departing in three hours, this is, gives you a pretty good idea of what you can expect. Some of the other products you can select from this whole list here is very, very interesting for uh, sampling a, a number of other products. It makes a simulated infrared image, okay? So this is like if you're, watch, if you're looking a, uh, at a satellite image of it, okay? Here you see this circulation, because it has clouds and precip. This is the circulation around the low in, in Missouri right now, and you can see this huge fetch of moisture and storms coming off the Gulf into the panhandle of uh, Florida. And again, go up here and you can animate it. And we got a big system coming in off the west coast. So you can see, now this, all this red and purple, those are cloud tops. So we know, we saw that the rain was kind of skimpy, except down around the panhandle of Florida. But look, you got huge cloud tops, and this means big trouble because the red, purple shades show cloud tops up in the 40,000 foot range, 35, 40, 45. Another cool thing, uh, cloud cover, click on that. So this whole comma shape image here, that's your low pressure center and this is the front. You can see the clouds, a very sharp line there and that's the front all right. I mean, there's nothing subtle about this thing. Uh, there's a cold front coming. And again, you can animate it. or you can go hour by hour to see where clear spots might be. I don't, I don't think I'd bet on any of this, but again, because it comes out every hour, it's, it's much more accurate because it's more timely. Its sampling rate is higher. Some other things you can look at. Dew point is interesting to look at because 
This, get, this helps you identify the front even more. And I can, you can show some other things. Uh, in the, it has a, a bar here for wind chill for winter time. The closest thing that you would have to um, something like what we've been looking at is the uh, graphical uh, forecast for aviation tool. Okay, where you can you can pick you can pick precipitation. It's not initialized as often as as rapidly or as frequently as the HRRR is, and you can am animate it as well. The advantage here is that it's actually putting the sigmets in here, and we can see down in the Gulf where we saw that heavy. Uh, flow moisture coming in off the Gulf into the Panhandle that they've identified it as that. But the HRR is is much quicker. It gives you a way to look at clouds in different ways. In the in the GFA it just puts out a blob of green. Okay here this is very specific and so you can you can actually follow its progress as it intensifies and moves and it's much more granular, okay? So you can see exact positions on the ground. And that's the HRRR.